Hi guys and welcome back to the real Huggable Panda or if you're new to the channel then welcome. Today we're in Dreams PlayStation 4 and I'm going to be showing you how to build a face in Dreams. So as you can see we have a face sculpt here. It looks uh, fairly realistic and obviously it's David Tennant from Doctor Who. So in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how uh, to sculpt a face. So what you need to do is you need to start off with a sphere but before you place it down make sure you have stamp mode activated. Uh, now when you stamp it this is your starting point for your face. Now what you should do is press square go to guides and then turn on mirror mode. So what mirror mode does is enables you to have symmetrical sculpting uh, on either side of this orange line that goes down the screen. So this is essential for making our face. So now we've got the start of the skull, we need to build it up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag it down just a little tab like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves two rounded uh, cubes. And now we're going to soft blend it up just a little tiny bit. So like that. Now rotate these by grabbing them with R2 and just twist them a little bit uh, so they are pointing in a triangular shape at the front. This is going to be creating your jawline. So once you've done that, that's all good. Make sure that it's around about halfway down your uh, your sphere and we're just going to drag those backwards so it makes this sort of shape. That looks uh, pretty good. Now what we're going to do is whilst we've got the rounded cubes we're just going to make the the um, the brow line. So we're going to turn down the uh, the soft blend just a little bit actually we'll turn it up so we're just gonna turn up the soft blend or keep it the same however you want it but essentially here what we're doing is we're making the brow line so this is where your forehead is and it's not round it's got a sort of like slope to it so that's basically what we're doing here and you need to put it so there is a uh, bit of a line where the eyes should be and moving it backwards into the skull so yeah kind of like that that's pretty much what we want but obviously not with a massive great gap in the middle so that's pretty good so far now we've got that we are going to get a normal sphere and we're going to soft blend it and this is going to be making the the rest of the skull so we're going to grab that and we're going to shape out how we think our skull should look and it doesn't matter if it's not perfect because we can tidy it up afterwards and whilst we've got the skull the, uh, the sphere I mean we can then put a bit down where we think our mouth is going to go which is probably about there so that's the start of our face so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our rounded uh, cubes and we're going to subtract and we're going to put the soft blend up just a little tiny bit right so now when you come in with these sphere with these cubes I mean you can start shaping how you want your face to be so we will shape it like this so like that and then where we want the jawline to be we will just come in like that and now we can shape the back of the skull as well like this and just make sure it's all a good shape now that is our skull shape 
Now what we're going to do is we're quickly going to put some eyes in whilst we've got these uh, rounded spheres. Now a lot of people, when they make eyes, they do it with these. That's not good eyes. What you need is the rounded cubes what we just had a second ago. And we're going to stick them on a 45 degree angle like that. Make sure soft blend is on. And then when you soft blend it, it gives you these amazing eye holes. Obviously, uh, find where your center line is, where your brow line is that you made. Uh, now, this is up to you personally how you want it. Always look at reference photos of your character that you're going to be building or whoever you're doing. Uh, but that's basically what you want to start off with. You should have something that looks a little bit like this. You see the face is starting to come together already really nicely. Um, now we're going to get a little triangle going with these things, right? We're going to get a little triangle like that. Um, we'll just stomp that down. And we'll pull it where we think our nose should be going. Now, we should have something that looks a little bit like this. Don't worry if it doesn't look like a face at the moment. Because what we'll do now is we'll just go and get our sphere. And we'll subtract... You don't want a massive sphere, you just want uh, one big enough. So I'm just going to show you how to tidy up your face really. So we're just going to subtract with a little bit of soft blend. Soft blend is your best friend here and we're just going to tidy up the nose a little bit. So as you can see what I'm doing here is I'm just tidying up the nose just shaping it, you know, at the tip of the nose, if you want a bit of a rounded nose like that. See, that's looking good so far. So you can use this shape to uh, shape the nose how you want it, and obviously you can, you can subtract. You can also, if you want to, uh, add to the nose if you wanted a bit of nostril there you go right that looks pretty good actually so however you want your nose that's the best way to do it all right and now we've got this shape I'm just gonna go in and make the nostrils like that that sort of thing there. There you go, there is a nose and it took literally two seconds. So we got the nose that's just cut the hole for the uh, the lips and what we'll do is we'll just get a square and we'll just cut ourselves just a little bit of lips there for the moment. Yep, that looks alright. Now for the eyes. Now you're just going to get a ball like this. Soft blend it, of course, so it's nice and blended into the face, but not too much. Not too much. And depending on where you want your eyes to go, put them in. Right? That looks fairly decent like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get a, a cube. Now what do we need a cube for to do these eyes? We are going to cut. We're going to cut the eyes like this. Look at that. Right. That looks a bit creepy. But it's alright. What we're going to do now is we're going to cut away behind where you've just made those slits, right? Now you can subtract and now you've got the perfect eye shape. The eyelids are perfect. So, you know, those are ready to receive the eyeballs that you will stick into the face. That was really easy. Not complicated at all. And you can see this face is building up really, really nicely. 
So now what do we need to do? So let me just show you some techniques that you can try yourself. So if you want to give people defined cheekbones, you can just subtract some of this, you know, some of the, the cheek like this. And now you can start to see the cheekbones. Obviously you don't want them like that. But there, you can really see the cheekbones there. If you wanted to make the cheeks fuller, all you need to do is just soft blend a sphere into there. And you can see, you could make all kinds of different faces, you know. Make the chin at the bottom, just get one of those. There you go. Now you've got a sort of like, a rounder face. <clears throat> But it's all down to you, really, your preference of uh, faces and what you're making in uh, dreams. But for this tutorial, this is looking pretty, uh, pretty good. So the hardest thing to do in making a face is probably the lips. The lips are pretty difficult, I think. They're the thing that I struggle with the most on uh, face making. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably make the cut that I've made bigger. So yeah, what we just had there was a pretty good shape for a, a mouth. So you've already got like the shape of the bottom lip. If you maybe followed those lips round. See I always struggle with the lips. If your lips are going a bit wrong. I think the best thing to do. Is just keep trying. Keep looking at pictures of lips. Don't be too disappointed if it's going wrong. Right. Just keep following the shape round. Right. Uh, let me try that again, sorry. This is the part of the tutorial that I'm going to really struggle on, is making the lips. Every single time this gets me. And now we will just follow the bottom lip. Just filling it out really like that. So now you've got some lips. They don't look too bad actually. They don't look too bad. It's like a, uh, a duck lip kind of face. I'm just going to roll with that for the tutorial. And obviously if you want to do a chin like that. That's up to you. So we've got a chin. We've got the lips. We've got the eyes. We don't have any ears. But I'll do those in a second. So that is not a bad looking face to be honest. Uh, you know. Whoever you're making. You know. You can just look at pictures. And build up the face to how you want it. If we look at the example of David Tennant. David Tennant's got the eyes and the eyebrows. The main point of David Tennant's face that, you know, makes it look like him is the eyes, but also this nose. Look at the shape of the nose. Looked at many photos of David Tennant at uh, his nose and we, uh, we just builded it up like this. And obviously like the lips and the chin. This looks, lo looks pretty good like David Tennant, but a more cartoony version. So I'm just going to show you how to do the eyes real quick. The eyes are pretty simple. Obviously uh, you can build your eyes up better for your own puppet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this eye white. Just white like this. We're having a brown eye, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to get a dark brown. And now we'll get a lighter brown. You don't have to do all these details as well, by the way. But... We're just going to soft blend 
soft blend that brown so it's got like two shades and now what we're going to do is we're just going to get the pure black to go in the middle so the pure black goes right there so there is an eye and now the reason why we've made the eye a separate sculpt is so we can open up the interaction menu and we can make it waxy but we can also make it shiny now what does that do I hear you ask well if we go and get a light from the tools bag I will show you bring that light away from that face but we want to have a look at it so now there that is the perfect example the waxy shiny eye gives you a shiny eye but an also a uh, moist wet looking eyeball if you make it metal it will look a bit weird you can see the light re is reflecting off those eyes that looks really good so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy that eye and we're just gonna stick it into the other socket like that uh... yeah that actually looks really good so that is the face so far now it looks really good one thing that I need to do now is just make some ears so the ears usually go where the uh, the jawline is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, scoped mode and I'm going to get the uh, the scoped tool here and I'm just going to soft blend the shape of the ears we're going to overbuild it so that when we make our ears we can cut away and shape the ears to how we want them see uh, that's not too bad actually now we've got the ear shape now we can start cutting away this is why you make the ears out of the uh, the the sculpting material and now we will just flatten that out down on bottom there and just tidy up a little bit just to make it look a bit neater with the soft blend it's not really cutting it's more pushing the material away so now we've got that we can go inside and we can just like you know cut an ear hole in there look at that right oh I've cut a hole in the actual ear let's close that up sorry so now you can just do the little details like that in there like that like that that kind of thing so there you go you've got ears now and that was pretty easy um, I'll show you how to do hair real quick as well so how I do hair is I start off with a color block that is how I want my hair to look so for this we'll use some brown hair and I will just place down the block where I think the middle is for the hair alright now what I'll do is I'll just start blending the hair so I'm just going to get that make sure it's in soft blend otherwise this will look a bit stupid but now we can start blending up the hair now it will look a bit stupid for you at the moment but we're just gonna shape it like we did with the uh, the ears a minute ago always look at pictures of hair we're going to take mirror off now uh, just so we can 
make it look a bit tidier. So now we've got some hair, now you can decide whether you want to, uh, you know, add details. So with David Tennant's hair, we've got these spiky bits. So let's add some spiky bits here to show you how it's done. We're going to go and change the shape, we're going to get one of these bad boys. And we're just going to drag it and we will shape it like this kind of thing and give it a little bit of a give it a bit of a flick right and now with this we can start putting these into the the hair like this so this kind of stuff here just like you know sticking them in don't have to be too neat about it as long as you're happy with it. Do you know what I mean? Just like, you know, don't have to be too pretty. Just do it how you think will look good. Don't worry about mistakes, you can always undo it and you can always change it. But, uh,. looking looking alright. Now this is just for the tutorial but you can always uh, do your own hair. Also a thing I like to do when I make hair is just get the uh, get the shape. Go into this mode and just like you know start cutting away a bit of lines. It adds a bit of texture and if you do it with soft blend on, I'll give you uh, another perspective of it with the soft blend. So we'll do a couple more with the blend. You can see it gives you a nice little, a nice little cut, and looks really nice. So you know, you can do that if you put the mirror mode back on. It would happen on both sides so it's nice and symmetrical as well I'm rushing to show you this in the tutorial but if you take your time you can just pull off some really good stuff uh, and now the last thing we need to do to make the hair look really good is just come into the uh, the style tool absolutely hammer his head with these you know flex and you'll see the flex change if you get nice and close. Let's just see if we can see them change. Yeah, the flex changed a little bit there, right? Now we will go into Opasto. And now what you should notice is that the hair starts to fluff up a little bit. It started to fluff up, but the one thing we need to do now is add a little bit of looseness to it like that there you go now you can see we've got a bit of looseness so with the looseness it really starts to make the hair look like hair so <clears throat> that's how you make a basic face in dreams uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly finish off with a neck for your character uh, so we'll just give him a little bit of a neck. Make sure it's in the middle, like that. Should have had soft blend on. Just stretch the shape so it's not just a sphere. It's sort of like that. You know what I mean? And that's just basically how you do it. Group it all together and there's your face alright now let's put it in the light so we can see it right there we go not a bad face obviously you can add colouring you can add paint if you want to colour the face 
um, you know, add little details, build it up to how you want it. Uh, but the main point is, is this is how you shape the face, all right? How do you attach this to a puppet is very easy. We are going to get ourselves a puppet. You get the puppet, you get your head, right? And you just hover it over the part that you want to select it to and press X on it to group it in. And now I think you'll find that when you possess the puppet, he will have this human head. Or at least he should do, right? So let's see. Let's see if that's the case. Oh, we've got a tank over there. Let's possess the puppet. There you go. You see? Now he has got the human face that we've just made. Uh and this works for all kinds of body parts, right? So let me just show you with David Tennant's arm. Right, if I wanted to stick this David Tennant arm onto this puppet, what we're going to do is we're just going to... I don't know if the whole arm would actually work for this, but part parts of the body will work. No, that didn't work. Damn it. So that bit's falling off. This is turning into a disaster now. The tutorial was going so well. So here we go. We're sticking this bit to the forearm. Now it should stick. It should stick. You see what I've done there? I've got the arm. I've selected it. And now when I'm running around, the arm is now stuck on. So you can make hands, you can make feet, you can make legs. And then select it. Al1, X on the puppet, boom, and it will just group it onto there straight away. So that is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. So this has been a tutorial on how to make a face. I'm sorry if sorry if I've rambled on a little bit. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you. I know a lot of people struggle to make faces in dreams. And I know it's not the perfect face. But I was just showing you how to do it real quick in a video. If you found this helpful, please leave a like on the video. And if you want to stay up to date with dreams content that I will be uploading in the near future we've got uh, a lot of stuff that we're ready to uh, release also PlayStation Home, Avi Life, all of that good stuff on the channel hit that subscribe button we really do appreciate it we are trying to get to 1500 subscribers the amount of support that you guys have given us on the channel so far is uh, outstanding all the likes and comments and everything we appreciate it we uh, we really love doing videos for you guys. So I hope to see you in the next video. I'll probably do a video on how to create a puppet like this. Uh, so if you want to see that, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Peace.